One way of speeding up your use of Excel is to move around much quicker between open workbooks or even sheets in the same workbook. If we open a number of workbooks and I have open the sales data file, the employees file and the sample file, all of which are in your working folder, then we can have a look at how we can move between open workbooks much quicker than our quite common way of clicking down on the taskbar. Now, if you have three workbooks open in Excel, and there isn't a restriction on how many you can open, that's dependent on your file system and your computer as to how much it can handle. But to move between open workbooks, we go to View on the ribbon, come across to Switch Windows, and you can simply then choose the number to go to. That's View, Switch Windows, choose the number to go to. Now, if you recall accessing the ribbons via the keyboard, you'll know that we could perhaps do it that way much faster. Alt to activate the ribbon shortcuts, W for the view ribbon, W then for switch windows, and then either one, two, or three, depending on which file you want to go to. So we could say three. Obviously, I've done that quite slowly, but you could get that quite quickly. Alt W W one, and it jumps to the employees. Alt W W three, jumps back to the sample. That's one way of moving quite quickly through open workbooks, and that's quite a useful way if you don't actually know which workbooks you've got open or which one you want to go to. Now, there are other keyboard shortcuts for moving between workbooks. We have Control and Tab, for example. So here I am in the sample one. Control Tab takes me to the next open workbook, which happens to be the employees one. Control Tab takes me to the next open workbook, which happens to be the sales data one. And then Control Tab takes me back round to the sample one. And that is much quicker than Alt W W and a number because it just moves to the next one, to the next one, the next one. There is another keyboard shortcut that does exactly the same thing, and that's Control F6. Now, the reason that there are two Office shortcuts for moving between open documents in this case is because Control F6 will work here in Excel, and it will work in Word, and it will work in Access, but Control Tab won't because Control Tab in Word actually does something in the document, so you can't use it there. Hence, the two shortcuts. Control Tab moves you to the next document. Control F6 works in all other Office applications to move you between open documents in the same program. Or we've got the go to view and go to windows, either with the mouse or with the keyboard. Now within the same workbook, you'll have a number of worksheets. And we can see here in the sales data one that there are 12. There's one for each month of the year. And we know that we could take our mouse and click on the tab we want to go to. Sometimes, and not in this particular case, but sometimes the sheet names are either very long or there are a lot of them and you can't see all the tabs across the bottom and then you end up with these little navigation keys for moving them along. If, for example, I were to just take a number of these and replicate them, just for the purposes of having lots of tabs, here we now cannot see all of the tabs and we have to use our little navigation keys to bring them into view. Even the navigation keys that require the mouse can use a shortcut. If, for example, I do control and the left one, it brings the first sheet into view. It doesn't move me to it. I'm still in September, but it brings it into view. If I do control and the last arrow, it brings the last sheet into view, which is, happens to be June 2, but I'm still in September. So that's a clever little way of jumping from one end to the other or single click to move. The other option is to right click here. That then gives me a list of all the active workbooks. And I may wish to go to August. OK and I jump to August, right click, February 2, okay. So the sheet does not need to be on view when you use that right click because it just gives you the list of all the sheets. Sticking with the keyboard, quite a popular option, we can do control and page up to move one sheet to the left. You can see that I'm moving from December to November, to October, to September, to August, to July, and control and page down logically then moves you to the right. Once you get to the very last sheet, you don't go any further. Each control page down does nothing. And the same the other way. So control page up will take me a sheet to the left. Notice you can go quite fast until you get to the first sheet and then it goes no further. So there we have some ways of moving between open workbooks and between sheets within the same workbook.